I'm going to run through the Chimera X medical imaging tutorial in virtual reality. I've gone to the Chimera X website, just search for Chimera X. On the left, there's this link tutorials. And this DICOM in virtual reality tutorial is the one we're going to go through. The first thing to do is download some example data, a CT scan of lung, human lung. I've already done that, so let's switch to Chimera X and get going. What I'll do is uh, I'll open the data with file, open, open DICOM folder. Uh, I downloaded the data into documents. It's this folder 4-24533. I choose just the folder. Within the folder, there are a few hundred data files, DICOM data files for individual planes of the data. But I just choose the, file, the folder. So it opens showing a single plane. I can move through the slices of the data. This lung uh, has a tumor in the upper left-hand corner here. I can adjust the brightness levels by moving this yellow curve on the histogram of the data values. All of the things we can do in this tutorial can be done without the virtual reality, virtual reality headset using just the mouse and the desktop display. But my purpose is to show you how to do these things in virtual reality. So let's switch to virtual, virtual reality. And, and uh, try that. So uh, the first thing, um, I'm going to want to um, use a toolbar in virtual reality that's not shown by default. So let me show that under tools. It's called the density map toolbar. So I'll show that. Um, and let me, in, let me enable the VR. That's done by typing the command VR on. I'm going to use an additional option. Uh, that I'm, that's just for recording this video, display independent. You won't need that if you're using the VR. Let me untangle my cord from my VR headset. Okay, and um, we're not going to need some of these panels in the demo, so just so we don't have to have a cluttered display in the VR, I'm going to hide this molecular display toolbar, uh, this graphics toolbar. I'm going to hide that. I um, don't think we'll use this model panel. It shows the current data uh, we're looking at. And, okay, let me squish some of these things down and move this down. All right, and I'm putting on the VR headset now, and um, it's a Vive Pro headset we're going to be using. I'm going to position the little user interface panel. So I'm using the Vive Pro. I got the Vive hand controllers. They look like cones in the VR. Uh, um, they've got buttons on them. One of the buttons, the little rectangle, brings up the graphical user interface. It's the menu button on the Vive controller. So I'm going to bring that up, and let me try to position it in this video. Actually, let me uh, resize the Chimera window on the desktop display so that you'll get a better view in this video. And let me position the window. I just position it by holding the menu button um, on the controller and moving it. That looks like a good position for it. OK. So uh, let's first just slice through these planes. Um, well, actually, first, let me show you what the hand controller buttons do by default. On the top, the two little arrows, that, this is zooming. And so if I click the button and I move up and down, that will scale the size of the data. The trigger button on the bottom a little, it has a little cross, a little plus sign icon, allows me to move the data so I can rotate it or move it to any position. Um, there's a button on the side that recenters the data. We're not going to need that, and I already showed you bringing up this menu, uh, this tool, this panel with the with the little rectangle button. All right, so let's let's slice through the different planes. Um, on the user interface, uh, I have these icons. Uh, 
the ones that say mouse modes, these are things that can be assigned to the hand controllers. This gray uh, square with an arrow will allow me to move through different planes, and I'm going to click on the thumb button, uh, the trackpad on the Vive controller, and it changes the icon um, to that icon, and pressing that button allows me to move through the different slices of the data. This is just like I did with the slider on with a mouse. Um, of course, we're in virtual reality, and the main benefit here is I have very good depth perception. And so I want to look at 3D regions of the data. Uh, for starters, how about we look at three orthogonal planes? So this bottom row of icons called Density Map Toolbar, um, these do particular actions. And this one in the lower left-hand corner, if I click this, it will show three orthogonal planes. These don't, this bottom row of icons doesn't assign things to the buttons. They just single actions. You can click on it with any button on the hand controller. Um, so now that I have three orthogonal planes, I can move any of the planes with the same mode to get a view of whatever region of the lungs I want. All right. Uh, what I want to do now is look at actually sort of a full three-dimensional piece of the data, in particular a slab of the data. So uh, let's, let's switch to that. The little cube icon on the bottom row here, I'll click that, and it will show me the full data. It's kind of a smoky gray volumetric rendering. Um, I want to look at the airways in these lungs, and there's an icon to show those. It's the little lung icon, so I'll click on that. What that did um, was it changed the color profile, and that's the yellow curve on the histogram. Um, I see above the histogram it says step two, and that means that it's not showing it at full resolution. It's showing every other data point along all three axes. And so to change to step one, there's an icon at the bottom. It's the little grid pattern, the black grid pattern. If I click that, that will show the full resolution data. I see it says step one now. And a problem looking at this uh, is that airways are very complicated and overlapped, and so it's hard to see much of anything in this. Um, and so uh, what I'd like to do is reduce the display and look at just a slab. To do that, I'm going to use another mode. It's this blue cube that will allow me to crop the data. So I'm going to push with the thumb button, and I see the icon has appeared, and I can now click the button on a face, and I can make the data, crop the data to a smaller size so that I'm looking at just a slab of the data. Once I have that slab, I can go back to the moving the planes and it actually will move the whole slab. I told you um, at the start here, this lung CT scan has a tumor. Let's take a look at what that looks in the slab. Um, so up here, we see a void. Uh, the reason we see the void is because the tumor tissue um, is in a different range of intensity values than this air lung, these um, airways of the lung. Okay. Let me show you now how to change the coloring and brightness. Um, so one thing we can do is just change the yellow curve directly on the histogram. This requires some, like, uh, pointing accuracy, but if I click on the node on the yellow curve and drag it, well, I missed it, I guess. There we go. So I dragged it up. The yellow curve's higher. The height of the yellow curve is the brightness. Okay, the, the horizontal axis is the data values in the image. Um, another thing I can do that's common with medical imaging is windowing and leveling. And so there's a mode here. It's this little bump curve. I'm going to click on it with the, um, the grip button on the side of the controller. Okay, and um, it can do two things. It can either move this yellow curve to the right or to the left. I do that by pressing the button and drag up, and it moves the curve to the right, drag down, it moves it to the left, or I can change the width of the curve. I press again, press the same button, but I drag horizontally. So if I drag horizontally to the right, it makes the curve wider, and horizontally to the left, makes the curve sharper, narrower. All right, so that's a basic introduction to how to 
look at the data, how to crop the data, slice through it, and color, color the data in VR. Thanks for listening.